<laughs> Hi, guys. I'm having kind of my Beauty and the Beast moment. I would have worn my long yellow dress, but instead I'm in jeans because we've been indoors and outdoors. But we are inside Chateau de Ville, where you can come take tours of this historic property. And most recently, the owners decided to build a lavender farm also on the property. So joining us now to talk a little bit more about this is Shelly, one of the owners. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for being here. Yeah. One of the first things you notice when you walk in is this mural, the art that's on the wall. What were your first thoughts when you brought the property and you came on site to, to see it? Well, actually, this mural was covered over with a different painting, and we discovered that we could peel it off and that the original was underneath. Wow. So we were able to peel off that entire other painting that didn't really fit the style of the chateau and revealed this underneath. Tell me a little bit about the history here. When was the house built and how long have you been working to restore it? The house was built um, in 1982 to up to 84. Um, we purchased it in 2010 and we've been restoring it since then. It's an ongoing project. <laughs> Most recently, you added the Lavender Farm. Tell me a little bit about that and why it was something you wanted to add for folks who wanted to come and take a tour. It really has opened it up to the public, and we love that. We love sharing it with people, and we love that it brings people to the property and that they're able to see the beauty that this is. I mean, it's just so unique in the valley that, you know, everybody comes and they say, I've always wanted to come inside, <laughs> and I've driven by so many times and wanted to stop in. And you have lavender products for sale, you have soaps, you have lotions. If people are watching and they want, want to come take a tour, tell me about pricing and also hours. Yeah, we're open Thursdays and Fridays, 10 to 6, and Saturdays, 10 to 3. And the tours are every half an hour. They're $20 a person. And you just show up that day to purchase the tickets for the tours that day. Um, we usually don't sell out that day, so <laughs> no need to rush the gates at 10 a.m. Yeah. Okay, so if we can, we're going to give you a live look at this gorgeous room here. I mean, y'all know I'm a bookworm. Love these bookshelves. Tell me about the room we're in now and what's so special about it. So the Erickson's called this the gathering room, mm -hmm. and I love that, bringing people together here. And um, it's just a gorgeous room. I mean, the barrel ceiling, mm -hmm. the fireplace over here was carved by an 82-year-old man that rode his bike to work every day and had a little cot set up so he could take a nap while he was wow. carving. Cool. So. so much history here. So again, you can take tours, Shelly. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for being here. <laughs> and again, if you're interested in taking a tour of the property here, we'll have that information on the scene on TV tab. Uh, Scott and Gina, I have some reading to do. I'm just going to hang out on the couch here. Yeah, so Whitney, she's never going to leave. <laughs> I think that's an amazing backdrop for yeah. engagement and wedding photos. <laughs> or maybe yes. your, your, your first home you buy together. <laughs> uh, enjoy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.